Hi friends, thanks for joining me for another tutorial on Melinda's Rubber Room. I'm Melinda Pierce and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here today to show you how to make this card. This was the second card that we did for my stamp camp and my card class in the mail. So if you purchase the card kit in the mail, I'm going to show you how to put this card together. Some of the designer series paper does um, differ depending on the packet that you received. So don't be surprised if your um, card doesn't look exactly like mine but I tried to make it so that it all kind of coordinates and still works, okay? So in your packet, you should have received a base card base, a, <laughs> a base piece of cardstock, and that's going to unfold like that. So the main fold is on the left-hand side of your card. You should have a piece of green rectangle, two pieces of green square, this is Granny Apple Green, by the way. Um, you'll have a piece of Designer Series paper and another one that goes over here. Um, let's see. You'll have another piece that goes right over here. And then you'll have one that goes on the inside of your card. So the one on the inside of the card, as well as the other ones, you can certainly do either side of, the, of that Designer Series paper. It's up to you. So the designer series paper that I'm using is called Hues of Happiness, I believe, and it is in the main catalog, but it is going to be retiring. So if it's something that you like, I would suggest ordering it as soon as you can. I'm sure it's going to sell out. The paper uh, that I used, this is actually paper die cut, um, was cut from the Happiness Abounds stamp set. So these two are meant to go together, the paper and the, the stamp set, and all of the dies, um, most of the dies actually will cut out the flowers. So it will cut out this main flower and these smaller ones, as well as the leaves. And all of those items coordinate with that designer series paper. Okay, so let me get to putting this card together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start with putting the rectangle green on the inside. It's just going to go right there. And then we have a piece of white cardstock that goes right in the center. Not in the center, it's actually left justified on that card. Oops, it's gonna go right there. And then this is going to, this designer series paper is going to go right at the end there. And that ties in with the designer series paper that's on the outside of the card. And again, you're welcome to use these the other side as well. It's very pretty. But I think this side, it makes the flower pop a little bit more. That goes on the front. That goes there. And have a square of green that's going to go right on this section here in the center. So, and I'm going to put the purple side because that will coordinate with the purple that I die cut out. Like that. And then this other green piece, that is just going to be attached to this flap here. So I'm just going to put blue on this flap. Make sure you don't go all the way up to the top because uh, the paper does not go that high. So you can use the piece that's on the inside, this other green piece that's the same size. You can use that as a guide as far as how far up and down you should go with your glue. So that just gets adhered like so. And then you have your piece of designer series paper that goes on the front. Once you have all these pieces cut out, this card goes together really quickly, but it's a fun card. It's a little bit different than your regular fold. That's going to go like that. And this one, I am going to use that reverse side. That gorgeous watercolor look to it. I love this paper. It's just so pretty. 
And then the rows, I'm going to go ahead and pop up on dimensionals. Like so, and then you should have two leaves in your packet. I'm just going to put glue on those and slide them right underneath the rows. You can see how nicely that purple pops on the front of the card. Like so, and then that's going to fold up like that. So I'm going to, I have my greeting here. I'm just going to go ahead and stamp on that. I normally would um, stamp my greeting first and then uh, die cut that out. But I wanted to show you how to do this if you want to stamp that same greeting. So thankfully it is photopolymer. So I can kind of line it up a little bit. There we go. And you can either raise this up on dimensionals or just add it to your card. I think we'll go ahead and raise it up. It just makes it look a little nicer. There we go. So again, this the stamp set and paper will be retiring at the end of April. If it lasts that long, it's only while supplies last. So you might want to purchase it earlier than later. Um, I do think a lot of these beautiful items will be selling out. Okay, I'm just going to stamp this inside stamp. Great. That looks pretty good. Okay, so that is the final card. Hope you like that one. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to message me on my um, YouTube channel or, or over on my Facebook page at Melinda's Rubber Room. Be happy to answer your questions. And uh, again, if you'd like to purchase anything, feel free to do so at my online store at melindapierce.stampinup.net. Uh, also, join me over on my Facebook page if you'd like more information about my upcoming classes or my Zoom calls that I have on Wednesday. Those are free sessions to join and i would like love to have you join us all right goodbye for now bye bye